One other way of injection we are going to talk about is method injection. So method injection is quite straightforward, but then I will show you some little tricky things that happen when you do method injection. So look at our house class here. We have the constructor and of course we have a kitchen variable. Now we have a new method called hello that I just added. And I happen to put the inject annotation on top of that method. Now when you have a method with the inject annotation, that method is automatically run after the constructor. So you might ask, okay, so there is nothing special here. What is the use of the inject annotation there? Now, currently that method doesn't have any parameter, but Let's say we have another class called building. Building is a normal class with a constructor. I have put an inject annotation on the constructor so Daga knows how to create a new building. But we have a method called register house that accepts a house as its argument and then prints out registered. When we go back to hello, let's say hello accepts a building's object as its argument. Then I call building.registerHouse and then I pass in this. So when we run this program, remember that the method with the inject annotation is run automatically after the constructor. But this method needs a building's argument. Because it has the inject annotation, Daga will automatically create a new building and pass it in. Method injection is very nice for situations when you want to pass the class instance to the injected dependencies. And also note that the method that is being injected is called immediately after the constructor.